if Britain's got more talent. And when we knew we were coming to Newcastle, the producers thought long and hard about how we could cleverly introduce this new city. Then one bright spark came up with, get ready for it, welcome to Newcastle upon Tyne. Or Newcastle for short. Let's get ready, ready, let's get ready, ready, let's get ready. Yes, we're in Newcastle for the very first time. And it's all thanks to these two. Who, despite all the excitement, are feeling the fear. Let's get ready to rumble. The fear that their hometown won't deliver any talent. The fear that they won't deliver their lines. Hello and welcome to Britain's Got Talent, the chance that gives the... What? what? The chance? <laughs> what? And the fear of a delivery of spiders. Ah, why why? Spider? But mostly it's the fear that their hometown won't deliver. Do you think we've got some talent here today? Good luck, well done. This is nice, huh? Yeah, like good, that. huh? There'll be a few of them today. I'm feeling really good you about Newcastle. Today. Are they? Or we'll be stuck here. Well, I have tried to do my research. Is it right? Kevin Nolan? Yeah. And Chris good. Blair? Yeah. And Chris Howie? Howie? Is that it? Chris Hutton? Chris Hutton, that's yeah, manager, it. Yeah. Manager, yeah. Very good. What else? Uh, oh, they've changed the name of St James's Park? No, they haven't. Not yet. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't we forget Not about in my it. eyes. <laughs> but no, seriously, fingers crossed we find something. What do you, what do you think today? You've been hanging around with the Axe backstage. What do you think? To be honest, I think there's a lot more variety here. Yeah. And there seems to be a lot more class in terms of... Really? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> you sure? No, but I do like Newcastle. Genuinely, though, honestly, we have tried to persuade them every year to come here, and now we're finally here. We're like, oh, God, I hope we get some talent, otherwise we're for it. That is what the Morgan is just about to face. Watch. Look at his reaction. Oh, God. I knew that was going to come. Has she seen it? You like this? The effort I've put into look, the two guys, thank you very much. Sucking up to the audience. <laughs> this is really embarrassing. Someone's just said Actually, to me out there. Someone, yeah. Yes, you've got it going on. You say you can work that today. Make sure my t-shirt's shown. <laughs> now, yes. Newcastle. Yes. What do you think the pressure is like for Anton Deck? Well, I don't know. I think it's more that they just wanted a free big trip to see their mum. Could I know they be. stayed with their mums last night. How much responsibility do you think Anton Deck have got to take? Total, total, unless it goes well. And then? Me. <laughs> How annoyed will you be with them if you don't get what you want today? Well, I don't want them to take it personally, but I will blame them both. It's about public humiliation, this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, for years they've been telling us how much they've inspired the city, the impact they've had culturally, etc., etc., etc. So they asked to come back up here, and we've agreed. It's on their shoulders. So it's fingers crossed that the first act will do the boys proud. My name's Keith Sturman. My name's Dominic Casti. And together we are the Blue Brothers. Brothers. <laughs> How are you guys? Hi, thank you. Nice to see you. Our act today is a balloon act. It's a comedy sketch using balloons. Uh, we can literally make anything. We have specially prepared Air Marnie suits. Oh, have you seen this? Look at this. A lot of skill. We've put years of practice into what we do and the actual art of balloon making. Can you make something now? Yeah. Yes. Would you mind? No, no, it's all right. Brilliant. You know, whilst the guys are making whatever they're making, here's some facts on balloons. Hi, I'm Paddy Regan and I'm a nuclear physicist. A balloon with a diameter of 100 feet can lift 15,000 kilos. The first rubber balloon was made by Professor Michael Faraday in 1824. The integral material that forms the inner structure of a balloon is air. Fascinating stuff. Very well. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Look at that. I'll go and sell these. So while the Bloom brothers get ready to go on stage... Can I sort of buy some balloons? No, no. Alright. Yeah. Hello, little girl. Would you like to buy a balloon that I made? Yes, please. Okay, it's £1.50. Got it? Perfect. There you go, enjoy that. Oh, perfect. Hello, mate. Hello. Hello, would you like to buy a little balloon like that, girl? Yeah. Yeah, it's £1.50. One. That's just a pound. Where's the other 50? I don't know. Have you not got any more? No. Well, you can't have the balloon then, can you? What do you do? 
Uh, we are the Balloon Brothers. We are a balloon entertainment act. Okay. When you're ready. Do you mind joining us on the stage? Just help us out a little bit, Amanda. <laughs> can, uh, can you just stand right here? Amanda, hold him. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yes! I was so worried, I thought there was some kind of balloon bondage act. <laughs> Keep it on, darling. Right, here's yes or no. Well, it was all fine until you brought the dreadful assistant into the act and then it, then it all went horribly wrong. Uh, it was quite fun, actually. But I think we've prob probably seen the best of it, so I'm going to say no. Oh, good! Because it was a good ending, I'm going to say yes. Um, yes as no? long as your future doesn't include me, I'm going to say yes. Nice yeah. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Spot on. <laughs> you didn't look stupid. Did no, I didn't. <laughs> cool. Could you make me something? Something that would suit my sort of personality persona? Oh, all right, OK. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Now, what's your making? Whatever you're going to make, boys. Here's a few more blue facts just for you. Hi, remember me? I'm Paddy Regan and I'm a nuclear physicist. The song 99 Red Balloons by Nana topped the charts for three weeks in 1984. The boy wanting to buy the laser gun balloon did in fact stump up the £1.50. Good stuff. Brilliant. I have always wanted a jetpack. I'm, I'm going to go and play. <laughs> Yes, it's the brilliant game where, just for ITV2, Miss Holden has agreed to hold on to an unsuspecting celebrity for as long as possible. As you know, we've been trying to get the Chuckle Brothers on the show, but their people told our people that they're far too busy. What's that? Oh, the scripts have arrived. There you go. Yeah, we've got to learn these. The new script? Yep. Right. Right. That's you first. To me? To you. To me? To you. To you? To me. You. To, to me. me. I'll never learn this. While we wait for that elusive gap in the chuckle schedule, let's see how long Holden can hold on to presenter Christine Blakely on the phone. <laughs> 